This is bullshit. This should be fucking available right now for everyone to buy. No more excuses is bullshit. Ah, oh, fucking COVID. We're year in, motherfucker. Figure it out. The supply chain's fucked up. What the fuck took you so long? You're supposed to be the people who run the world, and you can't figure out how to make a fucking microprocessor yet a year later? What the fuck were you doing? But you know what it is? This is what always happens, okay? When things are good in the world, everyone just fucking says things will be good forever, and no one plans for calamity. I remember before 9-11, the airline industry was booming, okay? They were making money, ridiculous amounts of money, rivers of money, world travel was at its peak. When you would go on a plane, they'd give you a gourmet fucking meal on a plane. Half the time when you went on a plane, the plane was half empty because they didn't have to cram the planes together, nothing like that. All right, then 9-11 happens. Oh, well, we never foresaw that anything would go wrong with the airline industry. Round of applause. Let's everybody clap it up for Dark Side Field, the fucking genius who just solved the, <laughs> the semiconductor shortage and uh, explain 9-11 to us. Explain the effect of 9-11 on the fucking... Uh, airline industry apparently all you have to do to solve the semiconductor shortage is figure out covid and get rid of it who would have fucking knew we got to send this to fucking the white house kamala harris or whoever the fuck is in charge over there and let them know they need to go out to Redden, Washington and uh, consult with DSP on how to solve America's problems because he has all the answers from his fucking gamer chair in front of his stupid ass stream. <laughs> I mean, good lord, man. Have you, have you ever seen one of those... Uh, dumb motherfuckers who swear to god they got the philosophy the life figured out because that's who this dude reminds me of one of those people who get out of jail like if you from certain parts of the of the country you know these people all too well they get out of jail and then come around trying to tell you how you need to do shit meanwhile you've been free this whole time <laughs> Meanwhile, you didn't get locked the fuck up. But they swear they got it all figured out because they read a couple books from the prison library. That's DSP. He read a couple tweets and, and watch uh, two or three minutes of CNN. And all of a sudden, he got all the fucking answers. This is the same motherfucker who didn't uh, even know because this is all... A rant that came from the fact that the Xbox Series S was the best selling system over Black Friday or some shit. I don't know. I don't care about sales. Uh, and the PS5 and the Xbox Series X are not readily available for you to pick up. Notice he, he didn't mention the Nintendo Switch OLED in there because he is under the impression that Nintendo makes their shit hard to find on purpose. Like they want to sell less of <laughs> something. But anyway, um, he was ranting about the Xbox Series S and X. And he channeled back to a, a previous rant from last year about how the Xbox Series S was just a cash grab. And this motherfucker didn't even do the minuscule amount of research. He said it was a cash grab because it was just a weak ass comp. He didn't do the minuscule amount of research to realize that the fucking thing got the same storage and the same fucking uh, CPU. The only downgrade in it is there's less of the storage and it's got a weaker GPU. And for $300, you ain't getting nothing better than that. For three, you probably can't even get an equivalent GPU to send that thing for your computer for three hundred dollars right now. But the genius didn't know that. All of a sudden, he's he fucking skipped from not even knowing half of what he should know about the shit that his so-called business is based around, which is fucking video games, to solving the pandemic. 
motherfucker said what happened to planning ahead we've had this in our popular culture for years I've read so many books and seen so many movies about it. So because the movie Contagion came out. <laughs> because motherfucking 28 Days Later came out. Because The Walking Dead came out. Dude. We supposed to. <laughs> the fucking president and the uh, World Health Organization and the CDC is supposed to watch Contagion and say, you know what? In 2019, this is gonna happen. What the fuck you talking about, fool? By that logic, any we should prepare for everything that's in fucking books and, and movies. We should prepare for Thanos to come and snap his fucking finger at us and, and, and blink half of us into oblivion. Because that's been in our popular culture for years too, you fucking idiot. I mean, Jesus Christ. This is the prime example of when somebody stupid as fuck think that they smart. This is the same motherfucker who thought the dealership was supposed to call him to let him know when it was time for him to get an oil change in his fucking BMW. But yet he can solve problems. He can solve the world's problems. This genius this is the motherfucker who thought who didn't know he had to pay his taxes according to him he didn't know he thought that he was just out there in motherfucking washington getting free money he must have thought that he was the d that he that his fucking streams were were a fucking charity or a church or some shit that was tax exempt he didn't know he had to register as a business when he's sitting up there accepting motherfuckers money every day. But yet he is telling people that they should have foreseen 9-11 coming. The fuck? Has this motherfucker not heard of the United States Armed Forces? People been trying to foresee shit like that. Since the country been formed, sometimes shit just slipped through the cracks. Imagine if they weren't spending all their time trying to foresee that shit, how fucked up we would be. We've had 11 or 12 9-11s by now, stupid. What is this fool talking about? I, I, uh, this man is so fucking funny to me like he when you see him sit up there and start wobbling this fucking giles back his uh, giles back and forth uh, like mr turkey neck from that old ass insurance commercial and you see that fucking cheek meat start moving from side to side and his little crooked mouth opens up you know some stupidity is about to spill out you know it's about to spill out this is the same motherfucker who sits there every day and has to have the morons in his stream chat hand hold him through bullshit video games yet he has the answers to all the world's problems he has the answer to the semiconductor shortage which is to figure out covid it's been a fucking year figure it out that's his that's what he said <laughs> like i sat here and thought about this maybe like a week or two ago after I made that first video I made oh shit bumping into the mic oops after I made that first video I made about this this dude and I said how the fuck does he give so much ammunition to the people who troll him and make the detractor videos about him how does he figure out new ways to give them ammunition every single motherfucking day 
if it's one thing that I have um, to applaud him about is that he finds new ways to be stupid more than any fucking body I've ever seen in my life. He finds ways to be stupid at a fucking record pace. He motherfuckers should set up like a Guinness Book of World Records judge to come out and just keep track of how many different ways DSP can be an idiot in one day. And I'm sure this motherfucker will end up with several plaques. He, he, he would have to. Because I've never seen anything like it. And this is the thing that you that amazes me even more than that. When you look at this motherfucker in the face, he's dead serious and he believes everything that comes out his mouth. And he's insulated himself so much into a little fucking uh, bubble slash echo chamber uh, of idiots. Because if you would disagree with him, he will ban you, no matter what he says. That people just go along with him while they throw their their fucking life savings at this fool. Like, if you giving him money, you stupid too. Because if you can't sit up there and do some simple math and see the amount of money this fool gets every day. And realize that he does not need your money. He just wants it. You're stupid. Like that that dude piece of piece got a whole spreadsheet. That can give you simple numbers on how much money he's taking from your dumb ass pockets. And of course, I'm about to wrap this shit up. But of course, he he uh, his rant came all the way back around to, to money. This, this rant was really about him being mad that people are rich or, or rich and he's not that's what it was because what did it come down to all of these motherfuckers are stupid and and this is what he was basically saying i'm paraphrasing all of these people are stupid they they make the big bucks though but they can't figure shit out but yet they get paid millions of dollars Damn, I ain't never seen such a jealous, bitter, bitch-ass motherfucker in my life than him. Damn, dude, like if you so mad about people getting money, figure out how to get you some. You fucking bum. I can't work a nine-to-five job because it pay. <laughs> I work a nine-to-five job, bro, and I make just as much money as you. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. We out.